After giving interviews for Google, Uber, Microsoft, Amazon and a lot others, I have got a decent idea about what these companies are expecting in terms of technical skills when it comes to the web developer interviews. So what I thought of is coming up with this video series where I will be giving you all my personal tips and tricks to crack these interviews and I'll be going in detail of each and every round and each and every section of these interviews so that you can ace and crack these interviews with charm. This is the first video in the series and the preparation begins right now. In this video, I'll be breaking down the whole interview process into different section and chunks or you can say the round of interviews and which you need to prepare individually to crack your upcoming interview. So without wasting any time, let's begin. First of all, let us understand what are the types of round you might face when you are appearing for a web developer interview in any of these big companies. So you know, after observing a lot about these interview process, I have broken down into five sections which are majorly covered in these interviews. So these five sections are first of all is the machine coding. So generally these companies uh, take their first round as the machine coding. The main aim of this round is to test whether the candidate can code live or not. They'll give you a specific problem and you need to develop the solution right there and then. So that is generally the first round. The second round is generally the DS algo round. So you know for web developers also DS algo is required. They won't ask you much detailed DS algo questions, trees or graphs. They might ask you, but they generally don't ask you. But a basic knowledge of DS is generally required. And one round is specifically focused in each of these big companies. And you know, the third, third thing, third round which you might face would be the obvious round, which is the UI tech round. Uh, or I would say the JavaScript round or I would say the pure web developer skills round. So you know in this round you might face questions regarding uh, the core concepts of JavaScript, your frameworks, your HTML, CSS and whole knowledge about web technologies which may include optimizing page speed, PWAs uh, and service workers and whatnot. Everything regarding web that could be in this uh, round which is UI tech. The fourth could be uh, your system design round. So when I say UI system design, th that means that uh, you can be given a problem uh, or a app to develop or some sort of a problem where you need to architect and design a proper scalable solution to that problem. So that is what happens in system design. If you are a, if you are going for a junior engineer role or a software engineer one, then some companies might not ask you this system design questions. Uh, and you can skip this round. Uh, so that is what happens. And the fifth is the uh, managerial round or sometimes you can say it as a hiring manager round or a uh, non-technical you can say round. But yeah, in many companies, in many of these companies, I have been asked a lot of technical uh, questions and a lot of technical discussions in this managerial round as well. So you know, each and every round, if you see it briefly, all these five sections requires different type of knowledge and is testing you on a different level and a different skill. So you need to prepare individually for each of these rounds to crack your UI interview. And you know what, you can't ignore any of these rounds. It is almost mandatory to pass each and every single round to get you the offer letter. In this video series, I'll be diving deep inside each and every round of these interviews. I'll be sharing everything in detail, everything right from the questions being asked, how to approach these questions in the interviews, how to manage your time inside each and every individual round and what to do if you get stuck in any of these rounds. I'll be giving you all my knowledge what I have gained from the experience of giving all these interviews. I'll be sharing you everything in the upcoming videos in this series. So stay tuned and watch each and every video carefully. Okay. I am all set for preparing you for your upcoming web developer interview, but I will need your help in this process. You can help me in the following three ways. The first way is to go down in the comment section and you know these five rounds, right? 
you list in the order of difficulty what which round do you find most difficult on the top and the least difficult in the bottom this list this sorted list will help me decide uh, the content of the upcoming videos which round should i focus more and where you are struggling i want these detail so that i can plan my upcoming series you know and the second thing how you can help me uh, is by commenting down the questions which you specifically find tough or any of these sections of these interviews or any part or any concept you find difficult or if you have been to any interview then you can uh, just jot down the topics or the uh, interview questions which you have faced so that is the second thing i wanted to ask you and the third way you can help me is by sharing this video with all the web developers in your network and also with your friends who might find this video or this video series useful for their upcoming interviews and you know just like i am sharing all my knowledge i am putting a lot of efforts in building this videos you also go ahead and share it with all your friends who might find this helpful and you know you never know i am a strong believer of karma uh, you never know if you help anybody getting a job who might help you getting your job okay so uh, it's like just share this video and let's together build a very great web community a very great uh, family of uh, web developers and that's all should be the motive of this video and video series that's all in this video and i'll be coming up with more videos in this series very soon very fast so stay subscribed and learn something new every day that's all in this video thanks for watching